happened in St. <coughs> George, Utah. I just picked up my uh, 2023 KTM 890 Adventure and headed south, headed towards Mesquite, maybe Logandale to ride those trails. Get out of the cold and uh, just go ride a little bit. So. I think, and uh, the Red Hills down here in St. George. It's beautiful. It's about 61 degrees. It's still a little nippy, you know, for riding, but I'm comfortable. But anyway, I sold my T700. I wanted to try something different. And the 890 Adventure S seemed to give the uh, things that I wanted most. Cruise control, heated grips heated seat, a little bit lower, lower center of gravity, a little bit lighter, um, taller windscreen, which you can see I don't have. Like every other KTM in the world, they didn't send the windscreens. They put on an aftermarket skid plate for me, which is really nice. But they took this windscreen off and on the model. I don't know what that guy's going to get. I hope he's not picking his bike up soon. but. Uh, between all of that, I went with the S model. Uh, it's already a firmer ride than my T700. It feels quite a bit firmer, a little more stiff, and about the same travel as my T700. So uh, what I wanted was a little bit more comfort on the road, which I think I got, and I don't think I sacrificed anything on the trail. So. Um, Right now I got about 12 miles on this bike, so the verdict's still out, but I'm excited. My chin mount thing's coming unglued off my helmet. Anyway, it's, uh, it's fast, it's light, it's nimble. And like I said, the ride is firm. You feel the bumps a little more than you did with the T7. So I'm gonna give it a good break in and maybe hit some trails in Logandale and then get it out in the dirt this spring as soon as the weather turns in, in northern and central Utah. We'll be, we'll be out there in the hills. It only took a second to uh, realize this thing has got some power and pep compared to the 700. And I, I didn't need any more power. I really didn't. But I got it with this bike, which is great.